right there. No, that's my door. Pick another door. What's wrong with you? Yesterday when I spoke with uh, David Leach, one of the things that he told me was a big influence for him was uh, Jackie Chan. When you're creating something like this that has such like intensity and brutality, like how do you sort of balance the sort of acrobatic element of what he did with the stuff that Dwayne Johnson can do? Well, I mean, you definitely take the, you know, Jackie Chan has a style all its own, right? And so it kind of works for Jackie, but they're definitely, you know, there is telling a story in a fight scene. And so Dave's kind of had that influence from being a martial artist his whole life. And so definitely has probably used his one of his influences. And so when you have Dwayne Johnson, you don't have the super nimble Jackie Chan. So you kind of have to just adapt and kind of, you know, curtail the fight scenes to your actor's strengths and weaknesses. I feel like uh, over the years we've watched fight scenes evolve where people have used wuxia, they've used Brazilian martial arts, different kinds of things that are integrated. At this point, have we really reached a point where like everything kind of is thrown together? It's like kitchen sink approach? Or do you guys tend to try to build from a foundation of a specific kind of martial arts fight choreography? Unless you're doing one specific discipline, then, you know, you'd go that route. But I think with the success of MMA, out there in the world, a lot of people are more keen to what's out there. And so I think taking elements to all different kinds of martial arts definitely help you make a, a well-rounded fight scene. Was there a sequence in this that was either the most challenging or maybe the most fun to sort of create and put together? I think one of the most challenging ones was probably all the Samoa stuff because we spent six months over here in the UK and then we finished the movie up in Hawaii. And so as much as you plan to kind of prep as best you can, it's kind of hard when everybody's over here in the UK and there's really nobody over in Hawaii. There's mm -hmm. people prepping, but they don't have the pulse of the movie and all that stuff. When you have two people like Jason Statham and Dwayne Johnson, who are very seasoned in terms of actions, yeah. you know, I'm sure that there was like a natural competitiveness, but which of those guys was maybe more adept at adapting to the fight choreography that you guys were creating for him? I think Jason has his background for all of his movies. So as far as a martial arts, taekwondo, kicky, punchy kind of fight, I think Jason was just more used to those bigger things. <laughs> and more fitting for his style. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, even Dwayne, it's still, he's the brawn, he's the big, the big guy. So it's like, you're not expecting him to be super flashy, super crazy. It's all about the strength and just the brute force that he has. And so that's kind of, you know, how it worked out for us. Whoa!